Um, I like to think about it as storytelling, and it just depends on what the story is, is the medium I use. So sometimes the stories are sculptures that are, I use bronze, sometimes they're wood, sometimes they're ceramics, sometimes they're photographs. Um, originally, I made these elder figures in my art, and um, I got married, and we moved to Chicago, and when we moved there, I was not going to have children, and then something in my being said, you need to have one of these crazy little things, and I did, and it affected everything I did from there forward. It was like all the stories I heard from my mom and about how you care for your kids and Native stories really started to affect how I um, looked at my art and then telling stories about that. So I look at children and how they play and how they're creative in their imagination and that has started to come into the work and so I'm telling stories that are both personal but at the same time I think really universal to how we are as people and the fragility of our life and our creativity and our imagination. I opened Friday, uh, May 1st, at uh, JRB, and it's just the first time I've ever exhibited photographs, so there's 10 large photos there. Um, I opened May the 7th at um, M.A. Doyne in Tulsa, uh, and that is part of their 2015 National Contemporary Realist Show, and so I have a few pieces there. And then on the 8th, we opened uh, a group show at Dreamer Concept called uh, What Does Hope Look Like to You? And in that one, it was a really nice project because we actually worked with Native American children for a workshop about how to take photos and what does hope represent. And in that one, it's close to my heart because my daughter and my son both got to have photographs in there as well. So they were given disposable cameras and got to go take pictures. So I have two photos and two sculptures there. And then um, the work at Oklahoma Contemporary will have a preview that the work will be up by the 21st and then our show opens June 18th.